This video will cover the topic, using properties of logarithms to evaluate expressions. Before we examine the different properties, let's look at the definition of a logarithm. First, let's say that a, b, and c are any real numbers, with a and c being positive, and a cannot be equal to 1. The definition of a logarithm is as follows. Log base a of c equals b only if a to the power of b equals c. Substituting a to the power of b equals c into the original definition for c, we can rewrite the definition as log base a of a to the power of b equals b. The definition of the natural log function is as follows. Natural log of c equals b only if e to the power of b equals c. So if we substitute e to the power of b into the original equation for c, it would result in the natural log of e to the power of b equals b? Correct. Now let's look at the properties of logarithms. These are the three properties of logarithms we use to evaluate expressions. In these properties, a, m, and n are positive numbers, a cannot be equal to 1, and p can be any number. Okay, I think I understand the definition of a logarithm and its properties, but can we go over a few examples? Sure, let's evaluate the following expressions. Log base 2 of 36 minus 2 times log base 2 of 3. Since there's a constant multiplied by the log in the second term, we can use the logarithm of a power property. Using this, we can simplify our second term to log base 2 of 3 squared. 3 squared equals 9, so now we have log base 2 of 36 minus log base 2 of 9. We're subtracting logarithms with the same base, so we should use the logarithm of a quotient property to further simplify. This gives us log base 2 of 36 divided by 9, which simplifies to log base 2 of 4. Now we want the base of the logarithm to match the base of the number we are taking the logarithm of. So substituting 4 with the equivalent value 2 squared allows us to have the same number. And looking at the definition of a logarithm, we can see that this term simplifies to 2. Let's go over another example. Natural log of e to the power of 2 minus natural log of e to the power of 11. Looking at the definition for the natural log, we can simplify natural log of e squared to 2 and the natural log of e to the power of 11 to 11. 2 minus 11 equals negative 9. How about you try the last example? 2 times log base 12 of 2 plus log base 12 of 3. Since we have a constant multiplied by the logarithm in the first term, we can use the logarithm of a power property to simplify. We now have log base 12 of 2 squared plus log base 12 of 3. 2 squared equals 4, so we have log base 12 of 4 plus log base 12 of 3. We have two logarithms added together with the same base, so we can simplify using the logarithm of a product property. Now we have log base 12 of 4 times 3, which equals log base 12 of 12. This is equivalent to log base 12 of 12 to the power of 1. And from the definition of a logarithm, we can see that this simplifies to 1. So in summary, when looking at logarithms in an expression, we first make sure they have the same base. Then, depending on whether the logarithms are being added, subtracted, or multiplied, we use one or more of the different properties of logarithms to simplify. You got it!